Fight Review. This one from uh, main event of UFC 157. Huge, huge fight for the UFC. Absolutely was could not wait to see this. And it turned out to not disappoint either. Uh, Ronda Rousey versus Liz Carmouche. Uh, great, great fight. Um, big gamble for the UFC, including women in. Massive gamble, obviously. People not really sure whether it's a good idea, bad idea. They don't really know what's what. Um, I think it's probably a good idea, um, as long as they can justify it with enough talent. And it looks like they do have that in the 135-pound division now. So you've obviously got other other women lining up, like Misha Tate and all that sort of thing. So, uh, so yeah, so everyone was basically thinking it's going to be Ronda Rousey, first-round armbar, simple as that. Now, of course, it was. <laughs> it was uh, Ronda Rousey, first-round armbar. But probably wasn't quite as simple as that, obviously. Um, she couldn't get her down to the ground at the very beginning as easily as possible. That wasn't the sort of thing that um, that, that we expected. A lot of people expected just simply pick her up, put her down on the ground, then armbar straight away. Wasn't that at all. Um, she tried to take her down, couldn't really get it. They went down to the ground, kind of scrambled. Uh, Kamu, super strong, super athletic. She managed to uh, climb onto the back of uh, Ronda Rousey and put on a vicious sort of face crank. Uh, nearly getting it, nearly sinking a choke in, really twisting her head round to the side. Looked like she might have tapped it at one stage. It looked like the sort of thing some people might tap for, putting a lot of pressure on the neck. But Rousey's tough. Uh, she wasn't having any of it. Fought through, managed to shake her off. Um, and yeah, then there was a little bit of stand-up play. Went down to the ground um, and uh, kind of got on top of her, beat her up from sort of like a side control position, just punching her head, punching her head. Didn't seem to be doing that much damage. We've seen in like the prime time things, Kamush is taking punches from big, big guys, so she can definitely take punches from a 135 pound woman. Um, so that didn't seem to be an issue. Then she switched over to the uh, to the armbar. She had it. Kamush was fighting it really well. Ronda Rousey's just so good at armbars. She uh, she rolled with it and rolled with it um, all the time, increasing the pressure, increasing the pressure. You saw her readjust at one point, and then she just pulled back on it and of course synced in the armbar and that was all she wrote Liz Carmouche taps and that's it um, really not a big surprise to see that uh, it's, it's what I predicted I put out a prediction for this fight it's exactly what I predicted um, but it's good to see now one thing we can say though I mean Liz Carmouche did probably test Ronda Rousey more than anyone ever has done before she really pushed the pace um, with that submission, she probably nearly beat it. It's probably the closest one to Rousey's ever come to being defeated. But yeah, now Rousey is seven and zero in the in uh, in her professional one and zero, obviously in the UFC. Defended her women's bantamweight title. She's seven and zero as a professional. Seven first round arm bars. Even though this one was the last five seconds of the round, still definitely was a first round arm bar, which is uh, just absolutely incredible. Where she goes from here, I don't know who's going to want to fight her. Sounds like Cyborg's absolutely terrified to fight her, she's saying. She's got medical notes from doctors and things saying if she makes 135, it'll kill her or something stupid like that. Uh, obviously, Misha Tate is around the picture, but she seems to have uh, cleared out all the top division. Um, you could definitely argue another fight for Karl Moosh at some point. Probably not an automatic rematch because it still was a fairly emphatic victory, but maybe one more fight for her and then she gets another rematch because she did test test uh, Ronda Rousey out more than anyone has done before. Um, I found it a bit weird at the end of it, seeing like Joe Rogan and that lot. He seemed to be sort of almost, I don't know, over-justifying women in the UFC. He seemed to be saying too much about it, too much great stuff and all that sort of stuff, which seemed a little bit, a little bit weird, maybe a little bit patronising, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Obviously, it's a bit weird just having women um, in one division, but that's the only only place there is enough talent to, to justify I suppose but yeah Dana White's changed his tune he's loving the uh, he's loving the women in the UFC now probably just because of Ronda brought all the media attention with her means more money for him in the UFC which is great to see but yeah I thought they justified being the main event I think any title shot should any title fight should be the main event you see it in like the, the flyweights things like that they say it shouldn't be the main event it should be the big middleweight or big light heavyweight fight behind I don't agree title fight should always be the main event and uh I stayed up last night, as you know, in the UK. It was about five in the morning to watch it. And I'm very glad I did. I thought the fight was great. She handled herself very well. Um, and yeah, we'll have to wait and see where she goes from here. But uh, I thought it was a good fight, justified being main event. And of course, Ronda Rousey, absolutely unbelievable. Once again, first round down, but it's just crazy. So this has been MMA, bringing you another fight review. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, keep right for more videos because they'll be on the way shortly. See you later, guys.